Birch Chaga Benefits. Super Mike Allen here. Let's jump right in on Birch Chaga. So first, you gotta know exactly what Chaga is and how it benefits you. Chaga mushrooms, scientifically known as Inanotus oblicus, have been traditionally used in some cultures for various health purposes. It is important, of course, to know that this stuff is different from Western medicine, so you always want to consult a doctor and you need to do your own research as well. But here are some things that I'm going to tell you about some chaga mushrooms. Number one, my favorite as always, they have antioxidant properties. Chaga mushrooms are rich in antioxidants, which may be helpful to neutralize free radicals in the body. If you haven't seen this channel before, then you're wondering, what's free radicals? Free radicals, my friend, are when a cell has a non-paired set of electrons. So it's not a set, it's just odd number of electrons and it will seek out another cell looking to steal their electrons it will rob them blind and take their electrons which leaves them unstable so it continues to be a bad process and you need antioxidants to help with that process alrighty number two immune support so chaga mushrooms can help with immune support some studies suggest that chaga may have immune boosting properties potentially enhancing the immune system's response so if you're wanting to fight off diseases have a strong immune system chaga may be the thing that you want to check out number three anti-inflammatory effects another one of my favorites chaga has been investigated to its potential anti-inflammatory effects which could be beneficial in managing inflammation related conditions for one Diabetes is an inflammation-related condition. Stress-related conditions where you've got too much cortisol in the body, those create inflamed conditions in the body. So these anti-inflammatory things can help you be healthy and help you fight against those problems. I'm not saying that it's going to cure those problems, but it can help you with fighting those and your natural immune system can work harder and you can be healthier. You can last longer in the fight, if nothing else. So you wanna add life to your years and add years to your life. Alrighty, number four, reduced oxidative stress. The antioxidants in chaga may contribute to reducing oxidative stress, which is associated with various issues. Of course, we all know that oxidative stress, one of the things that we're trying to fight against, it helps in the, uh, so antioxidants and reduced oxidative stress work together to help you be younger, longer, and feel better for the longer period of time. And then chaga mushrooms, and this one is kind of important. And number five it has anti-cancer properties. So there is some preliminary research suggesting that chaga may have anti-cancer properties, but more studies are obviously needed on this one in particular. So it is crucial to consult a health professional and make sure that you are getting the best advice that you can. But if you want to add chaga to your, to your daily routine, you can drink it. Um, and one of the ways you can drink it or get it in pill form is at supermikesupplements.com. And that's my store. That's the sponsor of the day, if you want to call it that. That is me and, and my store. And the link is in the description, as always. Link is in the bio if you're wondering over there instead. But you can get to it and you can get chaga from me. Now, I specifically mentioned at the start of the video that we'd be talking about birch chaga. So basically, all it is is that the chaga mushrooms that we're talking about are found in a birch tree. But birch chaga basically typically refers to chaga mushrooms that grow in birch trees. The potential health benefits and considerations I mentioned earlier generally apply to the chaga mushrooms regardless of what tree they happen to be in or where they grow. So that, that is important. But uh, the birch tree specifically has a symbiotic relationship with the chaga mushrooms. And they often are harvested from the birch trees in the region where they naturally occur. So here are a few things that you want to know about birch specific chaga. It has the antioxidant properties that we talked about earlier, which helps fight free radicals. But birch specific compounds, some proponents suggest that birch chaga may, can, may contain additional beneficial compounds from the birch tree itself but scientific evidence is still needing to be done to research that a little bit more. And then you also want to take into account where you're getting your birch chaga from. If you want to get it from me, it'll have these conditions already. So the harvesting conditions, if you're considering using birch chaga for its potential health benefits, it is essential to uh, ensure ethical and sustainable harvesting practices. So that's what we do. So not we, me personally, 
I'm not in the field if you're not 100% sure. I'm more on the sales team. I'm on that part of the ownership side. I have other folks working on the scientific side of fulfilling these orders if you end up buying through my store. Alrighty, so harvesting chaga can impact health of the tree, so you have to be responsible. And of course, you don't have to be responsible. We're taking care of that part for you. So as with any herbal remedy and supplement, it's important to approach the birch chaga cautiously, consult with healthcare professionals, and then make sure that you are uh, taking it daily. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in the store. Now, if you come over here to my store, supermikesupplements.com, you'll see there's a little search bar right here. And if you type in chaga, you have some different options here. You have chaga mushroom just as a supplement. You have birch chaga truffles. And we will talk about truffles on another episode altogether. But you have the wellness, the microbiome wellness package. And then also you can get a mushroom coffee for um, coffee beans, essentially, that you can turn into coffee. And then you also have the mushroom complex back here. So you've got a bunch of different options on how you get your chaga. You have birch chaga specifically right here. That's in the truffles. So that is something that you may be interested in. And of course, the, the truffles are responsibly harvested for you. So you do, again, have the, the coffee option on some of the mushroom bean coffee, uh, which can help again. And then also you have this birch chaga. Now let's look at the, the benefits and also uh, let's look at the possible side effects so we can get a rounded position of this. Alrighty, so I've got seven side effect possibilities, things you want to watch out for. Seven is the magic number, like if you were splitting your soul. I don't know if any of you guys watch Harry Potter, but uh, I think that if you're on this channel, you're probably more into health, and so you might not be as geeky as me, but all the same, let's talk about the seven possible side effects that you need to avoid. Generally speaking, chaga is considered very safe, so I want to point that out at the front here, but you also want to consider that individual results may vary. Your body chemistry is different from the guy next to you, unless the guy next to you happens to be a blood relative, but in general, I'm just saying individual bodies react to things in different ways, and even blood relatives react to things in different ways. So here we go. Number one, allergic reactions. You want to make sure that you want to avoid having allergic reactions by making sure if you are or are not allergic to it by getting a test ahead of time with a doctor. Um, but definitely you want to monitor and watch out for any kind of adverse reaction. So uh, some people have reported digestive issues with chaga. You definitely want to take this in moderation. You don't want to take too much and you certainly don't want to take so little that it doesn't have a chance to do anything for you. So digestive issues um, have been linked to upset stomach, diarrhea, those kind of things. So um, you can either take smaller amounts if that's the kind of problem that you're having, or you can you know stop taking it altogether and you know maybe give the rest of your coffee blend to a friend kind of thing. It also chaga may have effect on your blood sugar. So if you're a diabetic, this may not be the thing for you. So chaga may affect blood sugar levels. People with diabetes or those taking medications that affect blood sugar should monitor their levels closely and consult with a healthcare professional. The time that I took and had a chaga drink, it, it didn't um, work well with my digestive system, and I don't know if it impacted my blood sugar. Um, so I didn't enjoy it as well, but if you're not diabetic, then this should work out great for you with the antioxidant effects and with to fight disease and increase your immune system. So those things can help you. If you are diabetic, you definitely want to watch your numbers and see how your body reacts to it. And then, of course, you can have number four interactions with medications. So you want to consult your doctor if you're already on medications, and then you're going to add this as something that you're going to be drinking daily or taking as a supplement daily. Then you want to talk to your doctor ahead of time and make sure that there's no potential side effects for the medicines or bad interaction with those two things. I know that uh, for my father, he's not taking supplements, but he's had medications that badly interacted, put him in the hospital. And that is the thing you don't want for yourself or, or your father or mother, you know, children, whatever. You don't want this bad things like bad interactions with medicines happening to you. So you want to make sure that you communicate well with your, your doctor, your pharmacy, those kind of things, and make sure. Alrighty, number five, pregnancy and breastfeeding. So this will only apply to some of you out there as a potential, but uh, there's limited information on the safety of chaga during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should consult with their healthcare professional before taking chaga and adding that to their daily regimen. Number six, quality and purity concerns. 
want to make sure that you're getting the best stuff because if you're not getting the best stuff you're not going to have the positive effects and it could actually harm you so you want to make sure it's good stuff if you get it from me i can testify to the goodness of our stuff but i can't speak for anyone else and the quality of the chaga that you could get elsewhere and then number seven harvesting considerations so that's not really a side effect per se these these last two but you want to make sure that whoever is doing the harvesting for you is doing it ethically like we are so I want to make sure that you take care of that. So those are some of the potential side effects or cautions that would go with it. But basically, I would give this an overall of four, four stars out of five because of the fact that with diabetes, and I have diabetes, with diabetes, it can affect you adversely sometimes, can change your blood sugar levels, it can throw you off one way or the other, and it, it is one of those things that, that can affect different medications. So uh, for that, I, I would say about four stars out of five. But if you like this video, found this helpful, if you're going to try chaga, definitely note down in the comments there if you've ever tried it or if you're about to try it for the first time, you're obviously welcome to, to get it from me or anywhere else. I showed you some of the places at my store that you can get it and the ways that you can get it. And um, let me know in the comments if you're really interested in knowing what chaga truffles are, because that's going to be something, I mean, you might Google it before I make the video, but... I think that's something I make a whole video on soon, so I want to know if you guys are excited about that or not. Alrighty, so go down there, punch that like button, and then apologize because we don't really like violence over here on this channel. Alrighty, and then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get more videos on how to make your life longer. And as I always say, make that life longer, but add more life to your years. I'll see you guys in the next video, or start right here.